Welcome to Voices for Change 2.0, the only podcast that focuses on mental health while mixing in movies, music, books, sports, and pop culture. Here are your hosts, Rebecca and Joe Lombardo. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Voices for Change 2.0. This is our debut show on our new network, and we are extremely excited. Yes, good morning. Uh, We would like to send a big thank you to the Left of Straight Network for becoming our new home. If you are tuning in for the first time, let us tell you why we're here and what our goals are. Uh, Joe and I have been married for 15 years. Despite the fact that I have bipolar disorder, we've had a very happy marriage. Yep. Uh, Through a lot of work, several doctors, many different medications, and a constantly open line of communication, we found our way through the maze of mental illness. Joe has been by my side the entire time, supporting me when nobody else would. That is partly why we do this show. While we want to present my point of view as the person with mental illness, we also want to present the the perspective of the spouse or the caregiver. Uh, We've been approached by many people that have said they just don't know how we do it. Uh, They tell us that their relationship is in shambles because of bipolar disorder or depression, and we really want to help people with that. In addition, we plan on bringing you guests on the show that have faced tremendous tragedy or adversity and have overcome those struggles and turned it into something positive. We're here because we want to help people and because we hope that in some small way we're helping to silence the stigma. Uh, We're changing the discussion one voice at a time. And let's not forget that we do like to have fun, so this show will definitely not be all doom and gloom. We hope you'll enjoy our comedic sides as well. And because this is a live show, you can expect the unexpected. Hey, honey, should we talk a little bit more about what we've been going through the last couple of months, or do you want to dive right into bringing our guests on? Uh, we can talk a little bit about that. What we, what were you look, thinking about talking about, babe? Well, you know, we haven't been on the air, you know, for, for a little bit here. And, you know, there's been a lot of changes in, in our life, you know, uh, had a lot of home renovations going on and, you know, we were stuck living in a hotel for about a month while things happened here at the house. And, uh, <clears throat> it really gives you a, a chance to put perspective on how, life is, you know, and, and what you go through in the day to day when, when your uh normal every day is disrupted that drastically. You know, uh we're just we're really grateful to be back in our house. Um it, grateful to be back on the air. Grateful to be back on the air, you know, uh that was a big thing. That was one of the reasons why we haven't been on the air is just being in such a state of disruption and uh you know, I'm like I said, I'm I'm grateful that we're back in the house. I'm grateful to our contractor for doing such a great job. And uh I'm really excited to get twenty seventeen off to a, a really good start. Um after all the ups and downs we went through in twenty sixteen. And we should probably also mention really briefly before we bring our guests in that uh we do have a new microphone. We might sound different from previous podcasts. And it's pretty much a guarantee that at some point you're going to hear a cat. Yep, yep. Uh, That's uh, one other thing that we got to mention is, uh, (laughs) you know, a couple of our cats don't really make too much noise, but our our baby, our oldest, uh, Haley, will be chiming in from time to time. So she's the unofficial third leg of our show. Yeah. uh, You know, if you ever hear, just say, hey, Haley. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, incidentally, before we go further, remember, if you want to ask us any questions via Twitter, you can use hashtag VFChange. And I have Twitter up right now, so if anybody wants to shoot us any questions during the the interview, we will definitely be checking it out. So uh, that being said... Let's introduce our guest for today's show. 
we have one lovely lady from across the pond in the UK and another lovely lady from right here in the good US of A, good old US of A. Uh, so this is going to be fun. We're <laughs> chatting with Katie and Sophie, the creators of www.mhartherapy.com, as in mentalhealtharttherapy.com. Uh, ladies, welcome to the show. Hi. Hello. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we're so Thank excited. You. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Uh, we know it's been kind of a long wait due to the holidays and, like I said earlier, everything we've been going through. Uh, so we appreciate the fact that you guys hung in there with us. You're yes, very welcome. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so before we start the interview, do you have any questions or concerns for us? No, I'm ready to go. Yeah, let's get talking. <laughs> Just kidding. <Yeah. laughs> okay, can... Can each of you uh, just take a few moments, you know, to tell us your your story, your background, where you're from, you know, uh, your diagnosis, if you have one, perhaps when you were diagnosed? Um, Katie, would you like to start? Yeah, sure. Um, So I am from the Rocky Mountains (laughs) in in the Mountain West, and I grew up here, and I am diagnosed with bipolar 1 disorder. And I had my first manic psychotic episode at 16 years old um, when I went away to boarding school in Michigan, but I didn't get a diagnosis officially until like six years after that. Just my parents had no idea about mental illness, so they didn't know to take me into a psychiatrist Mm -hmm. or anything when all the crazy happened. So um, that's kind of, isn't that interesting? (laughs) Yeah. So I just, I just lived with the ups and downs for six years. I, got a degree, um, and I got married and um, have an amazing supportive husband. But then, like, three or four years into, or four years, three years into marriage, um, finally was like, what is this? I had a, a my close sister who went through a manic episode, and I watched everything go down, and I was like, um, this is what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and she actually did. She got psychiatric support and everything. And so I was like, I must have something similar. So then I went to see a psychiatrist, got my diagnosis, and here I am. Mm. Where where were you at in Michigan? Because that's where we're from. Oh really? Yeah, I was at Interlochen Arts Academy. It's a boarding school for creative arts. I went there for creative writing. It's in uh, close to Traverse City. It's in, in yeah. Northern. We know. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we know yeah. Interlochen. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a big thing. It was a big thing when we were in high school. A lot, the only the most talented kids in when I where I went to high school got into Interlochen. So that's that pretty so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. No, it was fun. Minus the psychosis, but I was in. Oh well, yeah. I was there. <laughs> oh come on! This so. is part of the ride. <laughs> yeah, that'll put a little damper on things, I guess. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, just a little, but it was a good experience for the most part. Yeah, I, that's cool that you live out in the Rockies, too, because um, Beck and I have talked for years about retiring out west. Um, for a long time, it was going to be Vegas, and then it's like, you know what? Vegas is a little too hot. Let's go a little bit farther north. Mm-hmm. Um, so, she's still pulling for Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's beautiful here. The mountains, even in the winter time, just snow on the mountains. I love my mountains, so. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. Okay, um, so uh, Sophie, you're up next, my dear. Yeah, hi. Um, I'm in London, hi. UK, as you can probably tell from my accent. Um, mm-hmm. Which so, I love. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I love your accent. Thank you very much. Um, well, basically, what happened to me was that I was looking after my mum through a terminal illness for two years. She had uh, secondary breast cancer, and she had Mm -hmm. been ill before when I was a kid. So um, this isn't the first time I had mental health problems. But then um, six months later, my dad nearly died as well, and a a lot of other stuff. And after this, I I had a breakdown and uh, got manic, (laughs) basically, and uh, started to believe strange things, thought that I could do lots of very odd things that I couldn't do and um, ended up with a psychiatrist who my therapist sent me to and they had to really kind of get the doctors to you know agree to this 
because uh, I don't know, our system is quite different here to yours. I think you have to persuade a GP, but yes, then I got sent straight to a psychiatrist and that's where I'm at now. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's, you know, having to deal with, <clears throat> especially when it's your parents Yeah. And they're, and they're going through stuff. It's, it's so difficult. You know, Beck and I have been through similar things. Um, you know, my dad had congestive heart failure in the late nineties. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, so I, I forestalled moving out so I could help out around the house and help yeah. with him. Yeah. And you know, my dad, my dad was older anyway. So, and then, mm-hmm. you know, Beck went through that a few years ago with her mom who yeah. had uh, been diagnosed with, with lung cancer and, you know, oh, gosh, was yeah. over there every day. yeah, having to take care of her and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely. It's an insurmountable amount of stress to be put under, and there's nothing in this world that prepares you for having to take care of a sick parent or no. even worse, losing them. Yeah, you're know? absolutely right, yeah. I mean, it was it was so big, and everyone thought that I was so strong and so brave, and I was, like, the one dealing with everything, you know, in charge of mm-hmm. all the rest of the family, and so kind of... Like Katie says, nobody noticed when I started going kind of, you know, mm-hmm. off track. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they were yeah. all kind of really surprised. <laughs> they think you're normal, yeah. especially yeah. in manic yeah. because of what you're so like hyped up and yeah. oftentimes so like optimistic, like overly optimistic. So people just are like, oh, she's just really happy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's it's talking to, yeah, talking to Katie has really helped me. You know, that we've got a lot of similarities that we didn't know about. It's true. That's, that's yeah, cool. you know, the first conversation that I had with you guys, I was immediately drawn to both of you. I think you both have a lot of really amazing qualities that, you know, a, a, make it easy to, you know, um, be friendly with you and make it easy to connect with you. So, you know, I think that it's fantastic that you guys have, have started this whole, you know, project. Because Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I feel the same about people. you. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, <laughs> all of you. I'm going to cry. It's so touching. <laughs> Thank you. But, yeah, no, it, it's it's perfect that you guys have started this because you're, you just have a, a I don't know, it's a, a vibe it's sort a, of that they a, give off, yeah. you know? <laughs> yep, you guys have a. Uh, the Katie Sophie uh, vibe. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we were really instantly drawn to each other. <laughs> kind of weird. How it happened. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, how, have you guys always been into art and photography? Uh, you know, did you guys always have those hobbies, um, or were you intro, you know, introduced to it uh, through a therapist? Sophie, what about you? Um, no, I've never actually done any formal art therapy, but um, I was doing a master's in fine art. Um, mm. I, the whole time my mom was dying, actually. And, wow. uh, yeah, so it was therapy for me. I just never kind of connected the two things. Right. Yeah, you've got that, that one thing that you're kind of focusing all your attention on to keep you distracted from yeah. the other silently killing you inside right uh-huh. yeah exactly yeah. I, I became really quite obsessed with my art to be honest really like focused yeah i i get that um i've been playing guitar for 30 years and mm-hmm. you know i've i've had days where i'll just i'll sit in my guitar room just playing and playing and playing you know and yeah. you're like you're, you're focused on one thing you know for me it's you know i'm trying to learn this song or whatever and and mm-hmm. uh you know, next thing you know, you're playing it. And it's like, oh, my God, this is great. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, yeah when, exactly. you're doing, when you're doing art, it's the same thing. It's the same thing with, yeah. with Beck when she writes, you know, and she's writing. I, I leave her alone until she gets it done because I know that's <laughs> where a tunnel is. Yeah, that's how you it know. works, definitely. Uh, what about you, Katie? Yeah, I've always had sort of like, I guess you could say like a knack for artistic stuff of like all kind. Um and my family is super artistic and super musical and whatnot, but um, I never did art therapy until just this year, like in the hospital. And, um, and that's why I, I was like, Oh, this is actually cool. It's, it's like a reason <laughs> to do art. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I have, so, I'm not going to say talent, but like a little bit of a knack for art. She does. And, she does. Um, and 
but I never <laughs> really do it <laughs> unless I have a reason. And then in the hospital, they're like, here, come paint these little things. And I was like, actually, do you have a piece of paper? I'll just paint something on my own. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know if you know, but when you're in the hospital, you've got loads of time. <laughs> oh, yeah. you know? So, so yeah, I just, I guess it's just an opportunity, I guess, to, to create, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, if you can uh, hang on with us for just a few minutes here, we are going to cut to a brief commercial, and mm-hmm. then we will come back with our guests. So hang on for just a moment. Don't miss the Mental Health Memoir of the Year, It's Not Your Journey. It's Not Your Journey is the true story of one woman's 20-year battle with mental illness and her recovery from a suicide attempt in 2013. Rebecca Lombardo candidly reveals her real and raw emotions in dealing with depression, bipolar disorder, the loss of her mother and brother, and more. Pick it up today on Amazon.com or visit www.RebeccaLombardo.com for more information. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for taking the uh, moment there to listen to our commercial break. Uh, So, ladies, are you with us? Yep. I'm still here. Okay. Fantastic. (laughs) (laughs) Woohoo! Didn't didn't bat on you. So. Now, just just to be clear, so everyone is aware, I just this is for me personally. Uh, this is our first show on the Left of Straight Network. It's you know the first time that we're doing this, and we're doing it live. So, you know, it, it, if it sounds a little wonky in some places, <laughs> you know, we, it's probably my fault. <laughs> we, we apologize. <laughs> Um, we're we're still trying to get get our footing on the on the live uh, version of the show, but we hope that we're doing okay and that you guys are still with us. Um, on to the next question, though. Uh, where did the idea for the website and the subsequent hashtags that are so popular now come from? This one for Katie to start, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, the idea came from who knows where, <laughs> <laughs> um, from some reaches of the bipolar brain. Um, no, I was coming off of a manic episode this last fall, and Sophie will attest to this. When when I approached her with the idea, I was so pretty manic. Um, yeah, yeah. I found <laughs> Sophie so randomly. It was like, I don't even know, because I I on you Twitter, it. there's so many people. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What did you say? Right. I, I said, I don't know how you did it. I, I don't know how we found each other, but, you know, no. I just was on Twitter. And I, I was actually I saw... wondering how you guys found each other, to be honest with you. <laughs> I know it's random because she's in the UK and I'm over here. And, yeah. like, we don't even know each other in person. But um, anyway, yeah, I saw her in the, on her profile. It says, like, she's an artist. And you see her cool profile picture and her website and everything. And, um Anyway, and I was like, oh, she's artistic. And then I just, like, um, messaged her. And I was like, hey, do you want to work on a project with me, like a yep. collaboration? <laughs> right, Sophie? Yeah. And you know yep. what's funny? <laughs> I, I mean, this is this is just manic episode talking. But um, I didn't even know what the project was going to be when I uh, <laughs> I, <didn't know laughs> I, did. I was like, hey, we should collaborate on something. And then popped the yeah. idea. And I was like, let's do this. Um, and yeah, created a website in a matter of like three days, right, Sophie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I was totally on board as well because I'd also been quite hyped up for the whole summer. So I was like, yes, this is amazing. Like, uh-huh. it's destiny. <laughs> I was like, wow, well, yeah, this is my like, fate. It's <laughs> that intuitive thing that you get when you're manic. Stranger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can do anything. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah, totally. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Sophie, you should tell uh, your what? side. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, of course, actually, I think we'd been doing it for maybe one week or well, we'd come up with the ideas together after Katie had actually discovered what what, you know, MH art therapy was like going to be. And we kind of um, we bounced the ideas back off each other. And I think we'd been doing it for about a week or two weeks when we got bipolar photos into it yeah. as well. Yeah. So um, that's Ty. Ty McMurray. Um, yeah. And Ty was just totally awesome as well and he also went yeah okay this is amazing and neither of us had met him either Katie yeah. found him too 
<laughs> so <laughs> that was just like really incredible, you know. So and the three of us just completely clicked. We mm-hmm. just got each other instantly. So true. Yeah. It was really uncanny. It was like, who's this random guy? He looks really talented. Let's just see if he wants to do the project. <laughs> yeah. We did. And I was like, he'll probably say no, but he was totally like, yeah, sure. What can I help with? And, and yeah. so we formulated the whole project together. Yeah. Now, that was really oh, surprised, awesome. but he is really amazing. And we needed him actually to be the oh third my gosh. wheel yeah. in that. Yeah. Yeah. So we did He's that for. So good for us. Yeah. How long did we do it for with him before we added some other people? Um, I want to say a couple of weeks, but I'm not totally sure. I think a couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. It was just the three of us bouncing ideas yeah. and sort of working out the kinks before we like went live, as you said, with um, <laughs> yeah, with the actual themes and everything. And then we added um, some a couple of other collaborators. That would be Erica and Emma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you are both are, amazing. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dive into your whole team a little bit later here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're jumping ahead. We're too excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> too excited about our friends. Yeah, yeah we think they're so cool. We're like, up. we'll tell you now. <laughs> okay, back away from the sugar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> down the cup of coffee. <laughs> gonna be all right. Um. What what is your guys' uh, goal for the site? What do you hope people will take away from their shared experiences? I think what my goal is, at least, is that people have a chance to express themselves, especially if they feel themselves even mildly creative. That you know they'll they'll say, okay, I can create something, but not only that, like I'm willing to share it with the world. Because I think, I mean, and you guys are on the same boat of wanting to end the stigma surrounding mental illness. And I think Mm -hmm. what comes um, with mental illness a lot of time is creativity. Even though there's so many negative and difficult things about mental illness, you know, there's that rush of creativity that we get every so often. I think you can probably relate being a writer, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Anyway, and so to share that with people and say, look, I'm like, we're contributing something beautiful to the world, you know, even in spite of our challenges, I guess. That would be, that'd be one of my purposes. And that's that's so sad. No, I I agree. That's absolutely it. Yeah. Yeah. And there is, there is documented evidence that uh, those of us with mental illnesses are at times more creative than than those normal folks out there. <laughs> <laughs> normal, what is that? Yeah, yeah we know exactly. these people. <laughs> yeah, they're boring. No, no I'm lying. kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> you're, you're one of those normal people. Well, that's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it's absolutely normal. debatable. <laughs> no, but yes, I, I agree with you, and I think what you're doing is, is amazing because it it's sort of, it presents the the perspective that yes okay we do have a mental illness but that's not all there is to us yeah you know we don't yeah. every single day focus on depression or anxiety or mm-hmm. whatever the mm-hmm. the symptoms are that you know we can produce something and be productive members of society can produce mm-hmm. something beautiful right and, regardless of yeah. of what yeah. what, what, what battle we're fighting inside our brain at that point yeah yeah everybody everybody has a voice and that's one thing that i think is really beautiful and amazing about your guy you you your (laughs) keep saying your guys and that's bad (laughs) um the, the beautiful thing about your website and about your your whole project is it gives people a voice even people that that maybe they feel like they don't necessarily have a talent but they say hey you know what i can even contribute something to this and exactly yeah you know it's funny because you know i I see it with with, even with with stuff that i do i see it with stuff that beck does where she'll write something and she'll have doubts about it and she'll give it to me to read and it'll be absolutely amazing you know and then i'll tell her that and let her know you know and it kind of reinforces for her and so even when you know someone creates something, be it artwork or, you know, written word or music, whatever, um, you know, you're getting that, that positive feedback and 
you know, putting your little bit of you out into the world and contributing. And it's, it's okay. just, it's a good feeling to know that I can put this out and it's accepted and people like it. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That, that support and feedback yeah. is so huge. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one thing about um, MH art therapy that I think has been the most striking that I didn't expect was the support that people have for each other when they post on yeah. there. And yeah. the community that's created because of it, even outside of the art, because like Sophie yeah. will attest to, we talk to each other about the randomest things together on Twitter and mm -hmm. support each other in a way mm -hmm. I didn't even know was going to happen. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. And that's not just us and our little group. It's, it's no. all of these other people we've gathered. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're yes, trying to calm down, it. you see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I picked up on that. No, it, 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 that's, and that's one thing that I've noticed with uh, the mental health community in general is it's such, yeah. it's so inclusive, you know, uh, so welcoming, you know, there, there's, there's, you know, no judgment, you know, um, the ones that do judge are quickly told, hey, don't do that. <laughs> but... Um, you know, you, you can come into it and there's a feeling of community, you know, and, you know, I, I see it with everybody that talks to you on, on Twitter and Facebook and, you know, other social media. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously you see it with, with your project and, uh, you know, it's awesome that there are venues like uh, MHR therapy that, um, you know, just welcome in everybody, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we were, we were very particular about that. We wanted to be as inclusive as possible. So all school set, skill sets and um, actually we didn't mind if people had diagnosed mental health conditions or not, anyone that felt that it would help them. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And we wanted there to be sort of a positive vibe to the whole project too. Mm -hmm. That was something that Ty pointed out very early. Yeah, with. yeah. Let's make sure that this is positive. While some of the themes do focus on things that are more difficult, like challenges and yeah, and insomnia and you know, and mm -hmm. anger and, and things, because we do need to express ourselves during difficult times. But then always have like an altering theme, you know, that yeah. brings hope and sort of you know, support and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely, and I I couldn't agree with you guys more. Um, we're going to take another quick break. Uh, we're going to play a song by Tara Naomi called Help You Fly. So give us a few moments to get that going, and we'll be back with you guys. Know how misery loves her company Got a party gather around you now They come running from far and wide But who's gonna help you fly? And they come calling when you're falling down Someone always pick you up off the ground Oh, nobody wanna see you cry But who's gonna help you fly? Whoa, 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 it's a messed up situation when I got the word to call on when the well runs dry. But I just want to celebrate my life. want to find someone to help me fly. Whoa.
Welcome back to Voices for Change 2.0. We are so glad to have you here this morning. Uh, We hope that wherever you are at, that you are keeping warm, because I know it is cold here in Michigan. When When I looked before the show started, it was 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Yes, and unfortunately, our uh, upstairs of our house does not get a lot of heat. So, welcome back to Voices for Change 2.0. Ah, hang on. So, <laughs> sorry about that little live glitch. Um, at, uh, that's my fault. That's my fault. <laughs> I love it. Uh, <laughs> we just wanted to hear ourselves. Yeah, really. There we go. Anyway, so we don't get a lot of heat in the upstairs part of our house, so we're just a little bit uh, chilly today. Both of us all huddled up trying to uh, talk on the same microphone. So, yep. But uh, let us get right back into the interview. Uh, as far as hashtag uh, MH Art Photography, and let me clarify again for anyone that's not aware that is mental health art photography but they use uh for the hashtag is just mh so if you want to get involved with this project remember mh art therapy and mh art photography are the hashtags you want to use so the photography angle is actually a little bit different from the website isn't that mostly on instagram uh yeah should, should i do this bit katie Oh, absolutely, yes. This is your baby. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so um, I, I can tell you a bit about it. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah? Please so do. <laughs> MH Art Photography was an idea that Kai and I had, actually. Um, we were so inspired by Katie, who really is outright awesome. So, oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we'd been having these, like, photo exchanges. So I was traveling around on the bus or the train, and, like, we were chatting to each other. And so we were... I'd sent him a, a picture and I was walking along the South Bank, which is in London here. And then uh, Ty sent me something back uh, from Texas. And it was just amazing because I thought, wow, this is so cool. We've got all this stuff in common, but our worlds are just totally different. And so we decided uh, to get Katie and the others involved. And mm-hmm. the idea is that um, you can take any photo of anything like once a day, but not necessarily once a day, that is something that feels kind of beautiful or interesting. And it's just like a little snippet of your life. And so we're sharing all of those and it's making us focus kind of on the present, but also appreciating outside of ourselves. So we're, we're quite happy with it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I actually have, Myself, I uh, just recently posted a photo. Yes. I was trying to go along with your theme. Uh, Joe had mentioned this last night that we may want to ask you this, and I wasn't mm. sure if if you guys would have a, a an actual answer to this question. But mm. you know, you're doing themes by week. Is that correct? Yes, for MH Art Therapy, but for MH okay. Art Photography, there is no theme. The theme is okay. your life. Oh, okay. okay. All right, that's a good way. To Whatever your surroundings it. are. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So as far as, as the themes, uh, how do you, is that just sort of off the top of your head, or do you have a sort of set uh, schedule that you do, or how does how do the themes work? Yeah, we have had a schedule. Um, and Casey has got an amazing bit of, um, what do you call it, spreadsheet action going on. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, we have it planned out like a couple months in advance, although we're, we need to get together on another conference call. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Come up with other secrets. <laughs> so we're running out. Don't tell anyone. So, yeah, so don't share our secrets. Yeah, we get together, we talk in, um, uh, in a, confer- a video conference call, and then we collaborate and say, what would be a good thing for this time of year? Maybe we can connect it with like whatever is going on during that month, and then we lay it all out. Um, a couple months in advance. Yep, exactly. Oh, just to let you guys know, I do have a message from Scott. Scott and I communicate via uh, Facebook Messenger mm-hmm. silently over here in the corner <laughs> on my phone. Uh, 
because our microphone does kind of pick everything up, as you have witnessed this morning. That's, that's the good and the bad yeah. of it. Yeah. It's, it's an awesome <laughs> microphone, and we're able to be in the same room, which was an issue previously. And um, Yes, previous to this on our old show, I was in our bedroom. Joe was downstairs in our office because we couldn't be in the same spot. Doing oh, brilliant. Really? How lonely. At the same time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it was, it was, it was uh, it was kind of difficult and we would talk over each other a lot and uh you know so now that we've got this and we can actually both be in here at the same time it's it's rather nice i'm enjoying yeah. being next to the love of my life Aww, <laughs> I love you. it's a great mic so but i did want to let you know that ty is in the chat room and mm-hmm. he says hi to both of you yay hi and ty. Ty. <laughs> and that they that you are two of the most vibrant women he has ever met Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Ty. <laughs> Thank you, um, Ty. Guys. Yeah, yes, yeah, definitely. I they got pride in the little part. <laughs> yeah. I, you guys have to share his, uh, his um, Twitter handle with me later so I can track him down. He sounds like a good guy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah he's awesome. <laughs> you know, the one thing that I did forget to mention was that you do have – uh, Tumblr associated with your project as well, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, more for um, the purpose of sharing a gallery. It was yeah. the easiest thing that we could come up with to put on the website a gallery that would show all the photos together. And so that's the main purpose of the Tumblr is to gather yeah. all the all of the art. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if anyone out there is on Tumblr, just know that you'll be able to uh, see everything that they post through that as well yeah Mm -hmm. and that's not just us it's all of the people whose work we're collecting yeah everybody who posts on the hashtag yeah um we feature and there's actually a link to it from the main website so you don't even have to go to tumblr you just you can go to the main website and click on gallery and and voila it gets you right there (laughs) and that website again is www.mhrttherapy.com I hope that um, everyone is jotting that down so they can head over there directly after the show. Getting there expeditiously, if you will. (laughs) Check check that out. It's good stuff, people. (laughs) Um, I have heard, partly because we briefly talked about it a little while ago, um, I'm quick like that. I have heard that the two of you are not the only people responsible for the amazing work that you're doing. That's um, true. Can can you guys take a moment to uh, recognize the other members of your team and what they bring to the project? Yeah. I mean, I know cool. we talked about Ty, but yes, you know. yeah. I tell you, you can do Erica. I'll do Emma. Yay! <laughs> yeah. We, we, we can still talk a little bit more about Ty. He's he's not exempt now. We can. We can <laughs> yeah. We can still talk about Ty. Right. The door we have is open. five members. And so there's Sophie and I, and then Ty McMurray. And um, we've talked about him. He's a photographer, amazing photographer. Yep. And and then there's Erica Riva. Am I pronouncing that right? Tell yeah, me, Erica. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and she has um, dissociative identity disorder and is incredible. And a lot of people, I think, in the mental health community already know about her because she posts her artwork and everything um, from her different parts. Um, and posts just incredible works of art. And she was posting on the hashtag when we first started the project. And we were just blown away, like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. And also that she was so active in posting. And we're like, um, let's ask her if she wants to be a part of the project. <laughs> yeah, she need, we need her. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, Erica, definitely. I mean, we didn't even question that, did we? No, we there were, wasn't we just, a question at all. It was just no. a question of whether she wanted to participate. Yeah, but we just kind of assumed she would, like, Ty. Hopefully. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, of course. Of course <laughs> because we were all a bit this. manic still. <laughs> oh, totally. And yeah, then Sophie just, just has a friend. Throw by it throw my two cents in there Mm -hmm. uh erica i know she's listening today because she was posting for us as well and i just i i can't say enough about her i absolutely adore her i think she's amazing uh and you know she she read my book she's been a big advocate for me and my book and and 
everything that I've been posting. So mm-hmm. I, I just want to, you know, return the favor for her. And she just, she's just a fantastic, amazing girl. And um, I'm so glad that she's involved with your program. You guys are really lucky to have her. We are. Oh, yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> not to say that your other two um, compadres <laughs> are not fantastic. I just don't know them personally. So yeah, I'm going to yeah, let sure. you guys take over from there. <laughs> Um, okay, so Emma, this is c- quite interesting actually because Emma is the only person who came in from the group as somebody that we already knew. Um, actually, the other guys didn't. I did. Emma is a friend of mine. Um, mm. We had not seen each other for a long time and then fate brought us back together again um, because we'd, we'd both been uh, unwell and lots of stuff had happened. And <laughs> each other again um, and we both started to get involved in uh, Twitter at the same time and she okay. has a blog which I can share with you guys later um, and so she's my, my real life friend and that adds another okay. dimension um, and she writes about borderline personality disorder, depression and anxiety which are things that she is dealing with and so she brings okay. a completely different perspective because the three of us are um, more similar in, in the other ways. We get manic, we we get um, like that. Um, and so Emma comes and she brings her side. She balances out. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we've got three of us with bipolar disorder, and then we've got Erica and Emma who have got their own. They kind of, kind of have their thing going. Their thing yeah. going, you know, up a bit. <laughs> Yeah. What's we wrong with creativity? <laughs> we all do. We all, it's so true. We, we all have a lot going on over here. So. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of an inside. It's kind of an inside joke uh, between Beck and I. Yeah. We were, uh, no, we we don't have time. To we tell don't have time to tell today. a story. Anyway. We'll have to <laughs> tell it another time. We'll have to tell the story another time. Right. We but, got a, we got oh. a lot going on. Here. <laughs> It's it's silly anyway. It'd probably be one of those things where, you know, it would just be funny to us, and you kind of would have had to be there for Inside it. So. Joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what are your plans for the future? What are your hopes for the project? Well, we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. I think, Sophie. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's nice planning on it. Talk. Yeah. Just keep. We'll keep the website up. We'll keep the Tumblr up. We'll keep the Twitter hashtag. And, yeah, yeah, and everything, and just build the community is our hope, and have mm-hmm. more people get involved, and 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 everything. I I mean, this is a yeah. another plug for us actually, but it's not related to this. But Emma and I, and Erica, in fact, started up one other hashtag that is just for this month, which oh, um, yeah, I, I just remembered that. Um, it's called Mask Off January, and um, this is about being more open and honest about mental health conversations and how are you really doing it's okay to come and tell other people and to share so that's the other thing that we've just started doing okay let me clarify that's mask off january yeah Yeah. and okay actually emma and i wrote a blog on that which is on the time to change website uh, which is a uk organization about ending stigma surrounding mental health so you should be able to find that um I think by my profile, it's been shared quite a lot this week. Hmm. Yeah, I, I actually saw that hashtag uh, pop up during the course of the week. Uh, yeah. El- elsewhere, um, not not related to you guys, in fact. Oh, cool. Uh, so, oh, that's, that's interesting. Working. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah really it, cool. it absolutely is, is working. Um, I was just kind of goofing Excellent. around on Twitter and looking at different stuff and stumbled across it uh someone oh, had it brilliant. had yeah. it posted and so yeah and i'm i clicked on i was looking at it a little bit and i'm like oh that's really cool you know that's that's really brilliant because you know it's hard to always put out there that you know you're dealing yeah. with a mental illness and a lot of the times you know you do end up masking it and mm-hmm. you put on a brave a brave face and people don't know that you're you know secretly falling apart inside so yeah yeah totally, you know, yeah being able to portray that is, you know, really, really just, it's, it's a great thing. Just 
that's all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, pardon me, I'm just stumbling over my words over here. Thank you. I think it's just more proof that the mental health community on Twitter is so amazing because there, yeah, it is a space where people are a little more open. I mean, still mm-hmm. we put on masks on Twitter too, but this oh, is yeah, a chance definitely. to like take it off and oh, I just, yeah, I love the mental health community on Twitter. It's just amazing. We've already uh, talked about me, that. But. Yeah, I mean, me too. And again, I'm, I'm going to get Katie all embarrassed, but if it wasn't for Katie, <laughs> then I would not be here doing all of this and talking to you guys. And <laughs> if like, it wasn't for my manic episode, none of us would be here. If it wasn't your manic episode and my manic enthusiasm right back at you, we wouldn't be right here. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Awesome. Yeah, you know, I, I often speak if I'm doing an interview or writing a blog post for, you know, another blogger or what have you that I often speak of the mental health community on Twitter, you know, uh, if it weren't for, you know, stigma fighters and, you know, uh, depression army and the mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not ashamed team. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, I, I yeah. don't know that I would have been able to go as far as I've gone with my story. My story. I'm, yeah. I might have given I up. Have given up mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's hard to put yourself out there, and um, when you finally do, it's it's very very scary. And to get mm-hmm. immediate like that is is just amazing. So if any of those uh, folks are listening, oh, the Sick Not Week folks over in Canada too, they are great. Um, um, so if so anybody is anybody listening, listening, you know, you know, we're just we're just we're just really glad to uh, have been connected to you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, yeah, uh, we're grateful to absolutely everyone in this community. It's really awesome. Really, really quick because we're we're gonna have to wrap up pretty soon. But uh, let's quickly go over all the ways people can participate in the project mm-hmm. and. Mm-hmm. You can tell us whether you have any submission guidelines. No guidelines. <laughs> no, no, we don't. Yeah, there's no. I mean, even you don't even have to follow the theme necessarily when you post your art. Um, yeah. You can follow the theme. It's fun to, because the theme gives you a chance to sort of do art you might not do or whatever. But um, yeah, get involved at using the hashtag on Twitter, hashtag mm-hmm. MH Art Therapy. Mm-hmm. Post on there and then. Um, any posts of your artwork will be featured on the Tumblr and on the website attached to the Tumblr, mhartherapy.com. And then Mm -hmm. to post your photos of your day-to-day and and just Mm -hmm. your present moments, um, post hashtag mhartphotography. And that's on Twitter, right, Sophie? But they can post on Instagram as well. Uh Uh-huh. So it's on Twitter, but on Instagram, it's called Mental Health Art Photography. Yeah, that's that is our... Yeah, that's our handle. So if people are listening and they want to actually do this from Instagram, we haven't had direct submissions from there before, but that would be amazing if worked that out. Mm-hmm. And then check okay. out our friends' um, handles because we've got uh, yep. Ty McMurray has his own website, The Bipolar Photographer. And then Erica mm-hmm. Riva just started a blog, which everyone needs to check out. And then yep. Emma has her blog, which is Balloons in the Brain. Is that right? Yep, Balloons in the Brain. Yeah. Okay. I've seen that. Yep, I have too. Yeah. Yep. I I've seen the here, bipolar so. photographer too uh, a lot, and yeah. I know that we follow each other, but we haven't ever had a conversation. So, uh, Ty, I I've seen your posts, buddy, and uh, I know that you're <laughs> out there, so I'll <laughs> connect with you. I will connect with you on a more personal level now, but. Uh, uh, we're just checking because we were getting a little bit of an echo earlier. So we want to make sure that everything is still uh, going well <laughs> with uh, our, our producer, Scott, there on the other side. But uh, so we've gone over your, your Instagram handle is actually mm-hmm. MH Art Photography. That's the account that they would go to to post. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, hang, I'm just checking. Hang on. It's actually mental health art photography. So oh, okay. Spelled so out. Full word spelled out. Yeah, it's, all it's spelled, spelled out. out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. We need everybody to know that. So, really quickly, we've got to get this wrapped up. But could each of you maybe give us an example of 
a film or a book or a song, something along those lines that uh, help you through a dark period, give you inspiration, perk you up, any any of the of the above? Uh, yeah. Yeah, do you want to go first? So, um, okay. Uh, it's not so much perky, but uh, a song that got me through things, and this isn't just mental health, this is about grief and loss as well, um, was R.E.M.'s Sweetness Follows, which is all about, you know, how you can move on after uh, a death or a loss, and it's about treating the rest of your family well and appreciating what happens afterwards. And R.E.M. in general actually were my go-to kind of um, songs when I was young because they faced a lot of those um, themes. Um, so that's what I do when I need some comfort. Yeah, that's they've cool. got great music. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> uh, for me, the comfort, oh, uh, let's see, music and movies. I have a two year old daughter, so we watch a lot of kids' movies. And I love great. <laughs> There's some really good Disney Pixar that are that in, like are just really co- like comfort movies. Ratatouille mm-hmm. is one of my favorites. Lately, we've been watching Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> Oh, okay. reset on life. I just love those movies because I mean the stories that they weave are so good but they always have like that comfort like oh I feel like I'm a kid again <laughs> that sounds good <laughs> if you can recommend them to me oh I want to do that <laughs> yeah well along those lines last night last night Joe and I watched the secret light life of pets oh my gosh yeah <laughs> and if you haven't seen that yet I highly recommend it I am not a big you know, kids movie fan. I don't, I, you know, I like Aladdin and I like <laughs> Minions. Um, but as far as most of the other Disney stuff, somebody's always dying and I just, yeah. I can't take it. So I'm so, really, really like, we check a website called Did the Dog Die? Yeah. Yeah, Did the Dog Die dot com before we watch any movie that has a dog. <laughs> oh, in that's it. clever. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we have that's to, sweet. I'll lose it if they do. Yeah. But um, no, we watched this, the Secret Life of Pets, and it was hilarious, and it was really well done. So, um, you you could watch that with your daughter, no problem. It's, that's it's, awesome. It's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> um, we uh, I believe we're going to wrap things up, but yep, we'd we like... have we have loved loved having you guys here on thank our you. debut show. Yeah, thanks yeah. for yeah. having us. Thank you enough. Yeah, thank you for taking the time to be with us. And, we have uh, enjoyed it so much. <laughs> well, if you if you want to stick around on uh, on the phone for a little bit after our outro goes, uh, we'll chat off air about a couple of things, and that would be awesome. For sure. Yeah, stick around yeah. for just yeah. a couple, just a couple more minutes, and uh, we thank you again. We wish you all the best with your project. If there's anything that we can do to help, uh, you know, raise awareness even more. You know, you know where to find me, tweet me, email mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. whatever you yes. know, yes. get a hold of me and I will do my best to uh get the get the awareness awareness up for your project. But thank, thank you. you once again. And um yep. we're gonna we're gonna sign off here for now, folks. We will catch you next week, Saturday, eleven AM Eastern time. And we can't wait. We'll yep. we'll talk to you next week. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week. Join us next week as Rebecca and Joe continue to battle the stigma of mental illness. Follow us on Twitter at Voices for Change RJ and on Facebook at Voices for Change 2.0.